the most effective learning program out there at the best price. Staycation set up time morning a mess. Listen, let's catch up these cheaters. We got Mindy on the line. Thinks your man Luke might be cheating after he confessed to her that he still has feelings for another girl. I mean, at that point, Mindy, um, wh why do you need us? Yeah. He already has feelings for someone else. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm still kind of giving him the benefit of the doubt mm -hmm. and think he's cheating rather than knowing for a fact. Like because when he told me he had feelings for this girl. He said he still ultimately wants to be with me, and he would ignore it. But here's how it all played out. Mm -hmm. He got out of nowhere. Like, one night we were having some dinner. He's telling me that he's been feeling really guilty for a while now because he's attracted to and has feelings for someone he works with. Okay, and how'd you go about that? So we have a long talk about it, and I asked him if they ever hooked up. He swore to me that they never did, but that it's just been like they've been flirting with each other a bit, that they spend a lot of time when they can. And, like, I'm furious. He keeps reassuring me, like, oh, nothing's happened. Don't don't be paranoid. You know, it's all good. But, yeah, he says he wants to be with me, and he wants to tell me before anything escalates. Okay. I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm relieved he came to me and told me something like this. But I'm not okay with my man going to work every day and seeing this, this chick, knowing that they might have hooked up if they could. But, you know, I told him I trusted him, and we just kind of left it at that. So that doesn't bother you every day? If my man told me he had feelings for another woman, I would tell him to quit his job. Am I, am I being too crazy? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know I don't do the work-wife situation. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm starting to think that this ain't the case. You know, because now I'm catching her calling him after hours. Mm. And I've gone to his office a few times to have lunch with him and just to keep an eye out on her. And sure enough, She's up there being flirtatious and giving the little doofy eyes to him at his desk when I show Not up. doofy eyes. <laughs> yes, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> it's got to be an uncomfortable feeling, though, for sure. Yeah. Making you feel uneasy when he walks out the door. You don't want that. What's her name? Her name is Teresa. Teresa. Okay. Well, let's see if your man's trying to get that chorizo con huevo. <laughs> okay. um, what we're going to do is, Mindy, call your, your man up, Luke. We're going to offer him the free romantic hotel stay and see who he wants to put on that reservation. Obviously, if he okay. says a little work-wife situation, Teresa, then there's something going on. And um, okay. yeah, I guess you're at that point you establish where you are in your relationship. Mm-hmm, correct. <laughs> okay. Why are you talking seductive to me? Sound that's cheating. Yeah, knock it off. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. But... Well, are you guys falling for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It, it kind of threw me for a loop there, though. Yeah. Too. I, no, I felt it too. I'm yeah, sinking in my chair a little. Bit. Okay, down, boys, down. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. Hello, may I speak to Luke? Ah, uh, he? Hi, Luke. My name is Selena, so I'm calling with the Aurora Hotel. I have some awesome news for you. You're the winner of our free romantic giveaway for two. What? So I can explain myself here a little bit. I know it kind of sounds confusing, kind of put you on spot here, but we actually saw you're very present on Google and Yelp reviews, so that's how we pulled your name and saw you, so that's why I'm giving you the call today. I don't know. I mean, it sounds kind of sketch, so... Um... I mean, all we ask in return is for one of those Google or Yelp reviews, something you do all the time anyway. It's a pretty simple process. Is this, like, really free-free? It's all free, complimentary. Like I said, we just need that in return, but other than that, we got you. And you just need me to write, like, a review. We like, not even biased, right? Like, my honest feedback? Yes, you get it. So I, I assume it's going to be very honest, and that's what we look forward to. I'm an honest guy, you know? <laughs> I love to hear that. Well, sounds like you're in, so congratulations, Luke. I'm so excited to set this up for you. So something fun we do here at the Aurora Hotel makes us a little different is we actually address a sweet or saucy note to the guest you will be bringing. So I can give you a moment to think about that, and whenever you're ready, I'll be here to write that down for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go with saucy. Perfect. I mean, you kind of picked that really fast. Do you have anything in mind already? Yeah, it's a little funny. All right, can you put down... You can tie me up at this time. Oh, okay. I will never yeah. knock you for what you're into, right? <laughs> as long as it works in your relationship, I'm all here for it. Let me go ahead and write this down for you, Luke. All right, and now that I have that written down, the most important question here is who would you like to bring on this free romantic stay? Uh, Teresa. So you still have feelings for that Well? Yeah, Luke, before you answer that, legally we got to let you know that you're live on the radio. Our show's called The Morning Mess with... Uh, your girl Mindy on the line with us. What? Wait, M Mindy? 
You lied straight to my face that nothing more would happen between you and her. But clearly, trusting you was a f mistake. Babe, just calm down for a second, right? I think I can explain everything. It's not. I've already given you a what... chance to explain yourself the first time, and I fing believed you. So, whatever else you have to say, I'm quite sure it's going to be some bullshit. Okay, I'm sorry, all right? I thought I could just ignore it, but I, I still work with her, and she's always around. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really get away from her. I, you know, I just feel so fing stupid right now. I can't believe you'd still let this sh told go you what was on happening, when you though. told me that you wouldn't. No, you, you, you told her that you had some feelings, but you're trying to act on it. There's a difference. No, nah, but I told you, though, there's been things going on. I was, I was just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? No, no, I don't. We don't. No, no, no one understands. That was not an explanation yeah. in the slightest. No idea what you just said. <laughs> I feel dumber after listening to that. <laughs> For real, though, I don't really appreciate being cornered like this. That really doesn't mean right now, does it? You're not a good guy or off the hook because you told me you have feelings for another woman. Do you hear how that sounds? You're an idiot. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Can we just please just keep this between us? I don't need people knowing all our business. Well, we're, we're live on the radio. radio. Yeah. yeah. You're a grown-ass man and should know better, so I'm not going to treat you like a damn child. You made your choice. Now you have to live with it and suck it up. Can I get off the phone now? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me help you out, Luke. Hold on. Here we go. So, Mindy, um, obviously it's what you thought it was, and um, he's a horrible liar, by the way. Very much so. Yeah, how did you believe him in the first place? Because he was not convincing any of us over here. He was very persuasive, but thank goodness this happened, because the next time, if I ever was to see him, he's, he's going to get five fingers across the face. Sounds like it hurts. Yeah, that's called a Tullison handshake. <laughs> Tullison yeah, handshake. That's how we greet you in Tullison. <laughs> <laughs> you got me saying Tullison. Tullison. <laughs> you from here, bro? I know. Joey's influence. I don't like it. <laughs> from the mind of a two foot. <laughs> Prank calls. It's time for Nacho's Revenge. Morning mess here. Can we say good morning to Audrey? Good morning, Audrey. What's up, Audrey? Morning, guys. Morning, you. I, I love when people call get revenge on their friends. Um, something about a night gone wrong, a little drinking with your, your buddy Chase. Yeah, you could say that there was a little drinking going on. Um, <laughs> Any guy named Chase. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on with you and Chase? So, well, first of all, I just want to say I can't even believe this is happening right now because, like, my friends and I, we love the show, and we don't think this was even, like, that deep that you would call us back, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no, I appreciate you. Tell your friends we say hi, and we got to get drunk sometime. So, um, <laughs> uh, uh, Chase, uh, did you and your friends and Chase have a have a night? Well, yeah, but Chase wasn't necessarily supposed to. Um, okay. He's been out with us girls last week, and he was actually supposed to be our DD. And but we do this thing in our group of friends where, like, we rotate who's the DD, so it doesn't, like, always fall on one person. Right. But, like, sometimes we'll, like, switch up the order because, like, if somebody gets, like, way too drunk, um, it's kind of like that's the punishment. Is like you're going to sit out next time and be the DD. <laughs> you know, like, that's fair. I like the system. <laughs> that's a great game, right? Fair. Like, it's not a true rotation, but it's fair. But in this case, like, Chase straight up volunteered to be the DD. No one made him do it. He was like, I have to be up super early tomorrow morning. There's no point in me getting wasted tonight. Like, you go do your thing. I'll drive. Whatever. Okay. So, long story short, he ends up being, like, beyond wasted that night. The most wasted, <laughs> total, like, blackout drunk. It'd be your own people. And, like, <laughs> it'd really be your own people. Don't really make promises you can't keep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, that Literally. sucks. So he got mad drunk? Yeah. Like, okay, so apparently he, like, ran into somebody that is, like, one of his good buddies he hasn't seen in, like, a minute. And you know how that goes. Like, his friend was like, let me buy you a shot. And so, I don't know. We were having a good time. I, I feel like I looked away from Chase for, like, it felt like 20 minutes. And I, I don't really know how long it was, but regardless... Once I kind of, like, paid attention to him again, I realized this man is blacking out. Like, he is done for. He is toast. That's it. Like, his night is over. And so he's telling us, like, oh, I'm leaving my car, and you both have to get an Uber tonight. Oh, no. uh, like, I mean, we were out, like, 90 bucks. It was not, like, dang. a cheap, like, $20. Yeah, that'll charge. Uh, we got you. What are you thinking for the prank call? 
Well, like, of course, when you're blackout drunk, what do you do? You leave your card at the bar. He mm-hmm. forgot his card at the bar he was doing all these shots at. And so I was thinking, like, what if Nacho was that bartender who, like, served him that night or, like, has his card or whatever and puts, like, a like a service fee on there, like a, like a $300 designated driver fee? <laughs> um, now we're talking. Yeah, hell yeah. That's the policy, right? So, okay. Like, I don't know. I feel like he's the one strictly enforced policy so i just i want to get chase back he's obviously going to be dd'ing the next time we go out but that's not going to be enough of a punishment we got to go harder than that i wouldn't bring him out <laughs> Mike, you're going to sit this one out literally yeah you guys ready yeah, yeah let's do it <laughs> Good morning. This is Nasha Chavez. It's Nasha with two O's from Bionic Bulls in Scottsdale. I hope you recovered. I mean, what a night. Am I right? You turned up, sir. Are you feeling okay? What? What? Yeah, you, you, you got so drunk. You forgot your card here. I would assume you'd like it back. Some people just can't handle Scottsdale. Am I right? <laughs> you, have my, you have my dinner card. Are you still hammered? Because, yeah, I have it right here in my hand. Yeah, yeah. your name is Chase. C-H-A-S-E? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, awesome. Yeah. When can I grab it? I could. Wow. Probably yeah. swing by later today if that works. Yeah. You know what, uh, Chase? Uh, that would be cool. Unlike you buying all those shots when you were supposed to be the DD. Do you remember that? That was uncool. Seriously. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Well, your friend Audrey told me that you were supposed to be the DD last weekend. That was after I had already served you, like, four green tea shots for you and your boys. <laughs> I mean, what a girly shot uh, to have with your boys. Am I right? How do you know Audrey? Hey, Barbara Walters, I'll ask the questions here. Just shut up and listen. There's no problem. I'm going to just tack on the standard DD fee, and you'll be out the door. What time do you want to pick up your card? No, no, no. You can't just charge my card. I'm going to do that. Yes, sir. No, no, no. I'm not. Whatever fee you're talking about, I'm not saying that. Okay. Okay. Well, so you can just get hammered with all your guys and leave Audrey and her friends to get Ubers when you volunteered. Reminder, you volunteered to drive them home, and you just left them? You realize that happens sometimes. They're grown-ass women. They all got home safe. Okay. You know what, sir? Maybe when you hit puberty and grow up, you'll realize that actions have consequences. That's right. Four words for you. Consequences. (laughs) Their Uber's totaled around $300, so I'm tacking that onto your bill for being immature. Okay? No, no. Fair is fair. Don't you you f*** there. I already did. Outside of what I bought. Uh, I mean... You don't know Audrey. How do you know Audrey? We hooked up in college at a frat party once, but I swear. We're just friends right now. That's my amiga. Uh, unless you know if she's single. I'm just asking for my friend Carlos back here. He's a bar back. Is she single now or did she dump you? I'm not going to hook you up with my friend, you weirdo. Did she give you my number? No, you did. You left it on the receipt for your tab but forgot to take your card. You're an idiot. I mean, <laughs> am I right? We, we can laugh at this. But yeah, you gave me your number. Yeah, that was for the girl that you were working with. You were sitting right next to her. You were at the bar with her. What the f***? Oh, so now I'm an inconvenience now. Is that what we're saying right now? It's the guy who got tanged when he was supposed to take care of the girly pops at the bar. You're pinning this on me. Man. There are those, there are those it wasn't that big of a f***ing deal. Okay, perfect. Then this added $300 extra is nothing. I'll split it in between me and the other bartender that you had no chance of hooking up with. I mean, she's way out of your league, sir. She's Scottsdale. You're like Tempe. You have no chance. What the f- is your problem just give me back my card i will i will i just need to make sure you just don't dispute the charge i mean you're the one who made the mistake i'm the good guy here not you you're a piece of shit. No, i'm the good guy <laughs> no Actually. okay how about riddle me this riddle me this <laughs> how about you give me on a date with audrey and then we'll call it even stevens oh, f- is this what all this shit was about in the first place no, no, man, yeah. no, it wasn't. I'm, I'm going to get my card. We are okay. done here. I'm, okay. I'm going to get my card. Okay, good, because I'm done with this prank call, because you're live on the radio with the morning mess, and, um, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put us up to the prank call. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me, bro? I feel drunk. I'm sorry, my brother. <laughs> oh, my God. Not so, I am dead right now. The group chat is blowing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, girly pops. <laughs> From the mind. This set up. Looks like we have a doozy here. It's the morning mess. Listen, we have Holly on the line. Holly, you think your man, David, might be cheating with your sister? Mm-hmm. Now, h- how did this all come about? So, Michelle and I, my sister, we've always obviously been close growing up, but mm-hmm. 
we kind of drifted apart getting older and just doing all that adulting on our own and I always go to her for advice still you know I think we're still really close in that way like I can always count on her so I confided in her and told her that my boyfriend David and I we've been going through a tough time because he's been going through a tough time in his personal life and I didn't really know how to handle the situation so I turned to Michelle and I asked her what she thought I should do and we talked a long time and she basically told me that I should just give him the space he needs so I'm not overwhelming him you know he's dealing with a lot but like I'm hoping it'll help and go back to normal eventually right um but anyway uh, that was the plan, but then the other weekend, we had a family trip up north, and I invited David because I thought it'd be nice for him to get away, and my sister was also there, and I can tell, like, throughout the weekend, her and David were kind of close, which I thought was pretty weird, because he's been around the family for a while now, but this time I felt like he was almost, like, wanting to hang out with her, with my sister, more than me, and they'd be talking and laughing like I wasn't even there. So I don't know if I was just being like insecure or whatever, but anyway, we're at this trip and in the middle of the night, I happened to wake up and David wasn't next to me. So I got up to go look for him around like 2 a.m. and I find him and my sister hanging out downstairs and they were sitting really close on the couch together. And like, I know they know it was too close because when they saw me, they kind of like jumped apart. And mm -hmm. I could tell the whole vibe was just, like, off. It was bad. It was awkward. And I didn't know how to feel about it. Damn, he has a type. I guess so. I Keep mean, it in the family? This is way beyond okay, you know? And just, like, the way I caught them like that in the middle of the night, like, if they're just getting along, great. But that night, that really, like, was the wrong vibe. How close they were all weekend. And on top of that, she's the one who told me to give him space. Like, I would never think she would betray me, but I really think something might be going on between them and I need to know. Okay, so uh, you know what? Let's just get to it. What we'll do is we're going to call up your man. We're going to offer him the romantic hotel stay and see who he wants to put on the reservation. And at that point... Actually, you know, I think, like, if we could call my sister, I would prefer to call her. Like, I haven't asked either of them about... You want us to call your sister and set her up? Yeah, like, I haven't asked either of them, but they've both had opportunities to come clean and... I want to call up my sister. She has more loyalty to me than any guy I ever will know, and I really... Yeah, it's almost more disrespectful. Her. We call your sister, she says your man, oh boy. Oh, yeah. I hate these. I hate these yeah. so much. It's just so bad. I know. I know. Family stuff is just, it's like another level of betrayal. Damn. Yeah. I know, I really thought we were going to call your man up, but your sister, oof. This is a good well, one. Like, I trust him, but, like, I don't even think twice about, of course I trust her, so, like, yeah. I want to hear it from her. Okay. Uh, let's call Holly's uh, sister, Michelle. And your man's name again is? David. David. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Hello? Hello, may I speak to Michelle? Yep, this is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. My name is Selena. I'm calling with the Aurora Hotel. I have some awesome news for you. You're the winner of our free romantic giveaway for two. Oh, uh, no, no. I'm, I'm not interested. Thank you. Are you sure we want to put you in a penthouse suite with the honeymoon package, so I wouldn't want you to miss out on this offer? No, I mean, that's... That sounds really thoughtful and kind, but I'm... Is it free? Yeah, it's complimentary, and all we ask in return is for an honest Google or Yelp review of your stay, and that's it. You get to bring someone special, enjoy a romantic weekend away. It's a pretty sweet deal here, girl. Really? Just a Yelp review? Um, yeah, pretty simple process. Okay, okay. Uh, um, all right. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Michelle. Thank you so much for giving me a moment of your time. I'm so excited to set this up for you. So something fun we do here at the Aurora Hotel is we actually address a sweet or saucy note to the guests you will be bringing. So I can give you a moment to think about that. And whenever you're ready, I'll be here to write it down for you. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, I think, like, I can give it to you better than she can. Okay, I'm assuming that's a saucy note, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and write it down for you. All right, Michelle, now the most important question here is who would you like to bring on this free romantic stay? David. Michelle, what the f***? How could you do this to me? What? What? <gasps> Hey, Michelle, really quick, we do have to let you know you're live on the radio. Our show's called The Morning Mess, and we have your sister Holly on the line. Oh, my God. I am your sister. You're going to pick some guy over me? 
what the hell? What's wrong with you? Well, like, okay, please, please, please just let me explain. I swear it's not as bad as this all sounds. I swear. Well, uh, it sounds pretty bad. You said in the note you can give it to you better than she can? You're talking about me. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say. I just, I, I can't. I can't even defend that I said that. It's just, it's so f***ed up. I'm sorry. I think you're only sorry because you're feeling bad about getting caught right now. How convenient to feel bad now. Now you're sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I really, I really am. I, I got, I did get caught up in something. I should have put a stop to from the start and I never meant to hurt you. Really? That's what you're going to say to me right now? You never meant to hurt me? Like, what the f*** else? And have you been f***ing this entire time? Like, how do you not even feel guilty? I do feel guilty. You mean more to me than he does, and I don't want this to start in drama. I never meant to come between you two or mess up your relationship. This shit just kind of f***ing happened, and I was stupid enough to fall for it. Stop even trying to apologize, because you don't mean it. You're only saying shit to save your ass at this point. Who started this? It started a few weeks before the family trip, but on that trip, when you went to sleep, I was still up, and we ran into each other in the kitchen, and we just started talking, and one thing led to another. So you, so you guys hooked up that night? Yeah. Wow. Mm. So since then, how long ago was this family trip? Two weeks ago. And how many times have you hooked up since? Four times. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. Like, you're sick. It's going to be a hell of a Thanksgiving coming up, man. Mm. He's going to yeah. be stuffing more than a turkey. Oh, Hello. Sure, no. I don't know. Michelle, are you still going to, do you feel bad? Are you still kind of, your man kind of chose me, even though it's your sister's man? I mean, no. No, I don't want to go through it, obviously. I feel terrible. You don't sound like it, to be honest with you. I feel terrible because you got caught. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have counseling services if you guys want to take them as sisters. No. I mean, I don't know if I, I could ever mean, forgive you. I don't even care about him anymore. It's the fact that you would even betray your own family. Like, I don't think I could ever trust you again. Dude, you were venting to me about your relationship, and he was also venting to me about the relationship. And okay. So you don't yeah, sleep with him. turning yeah. her back up. Oh, my God. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're good. You went from sympathetic to pathetic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. She's giving me the... Uh, Michelle, you there? Yeah. I just want to make sure to hang up on you. Hold on. Holly, there's always just that one sibling. She's definitely it. Yeah, like, I don't even know where she came from. Like, I know we grew up together, but, like, I don't even know who that is. Maybe it's not really your sister. At this point, she won't be. I'm sure your parents back in the day probably had photo albums. Just cut her out of all of them. A little crop out. A little crop yeah, out. draw X's over her face. Yeah, yeah, she's a horrible person, Jesus. So who are you, who are you going to tell first, mom or dad? I'm calling them on speakerphone, both of them. I want to hear them both. Yeah, put on blast. Well, keep us posted, okay? Please let us know what your what your parents say about that, okay? Thank you for helping me find the truth. She would never have admitted it to me. She was still doing it. Yeah. yeah. Of course. All right. Well, thank you. Keep us posted on that, okay? <sighs> thank you, guys. All right. They hope. Yeah. Right. Who do you think was better? Holly or the psycho side chick? Terrible question to ask. <laughs> horrible question, but it had to be Michelle because Mich obviously she was a side chick. Yeah, yeah the side, side chick, right? <laughs> he put it down. If a guy's going to keep doing it, his lady's upstairs and her sister's downstairs, that she, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the definition of risking it for the biscuit. Oh, yeah, definitely risk it for the biscuit, <laughs> baby. A little pepper grinder. <laughs> <laughs> ISOLearning.com slash audio to get the most effective learning program out there at the best price. Your favorite prank calls time for Nacho's Revenge. We are your morning mess. JD, Sienna, and your guy, Joey Boy. Can we say good morning to Miranda? Good morning, Miranda. Good morning, guys. Hello. Hello, hello. We see you need some revenge on your brother, Matt, this morning. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> What'd he do? Okay, so my brother, Matt... Um, he peed in my car after he went to a good friend's wedding. <laughs> hmm, there's a thing called bathrooms, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get, was uh, a lot of alcohol involved? Yeah, so a good friend of ours got married, and, you know, I don't drink that much, and I know my brother does. I knew he'd probably want to get trashed, so I was like, yeah, I'll be the DD. Mm -hmm. And I try not to be around my brother when he gets wasted <laughs> because he is a mess, if you can't tell. Yeah, he's a flat-out liability. Um, <laughs> but he, did, um, he did grow up since college. He's only been out for a few years, but I assumed that he would be able to handle his liquor and he proved that wrong so paint the picture you do you do the wedding you're leaving the wedding and he has too much to drink and he does he say anything to you while he's in the car or you just 
starts going. <laughs> All right, story. So we're on the way home. He kept whining about how he needed to go to the bathroom. And, like, now, granted, we were literally only, like, mm, two minutes away from being home. So I told him, just please hold it. Like, uh -huh. not even, uh, like, maybe three at max. And then, all of a sudden, I see him, like, hunched over in the backseat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I turn around, I ask him, what you're doing? And he yells, doing what God intended us to do when we need to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> and just that tone, too, I feel like. So you got a drum tone there. And, yeah, all I hear is the noise of him going to the bathroom all over my leather seat. So you knew, like, I could hear it splashing. And oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I would kick him out, even if you were two minutes away from home. No, I literally feel like I have that sound engraved in my head for the rest of my life. It's going on for a solid 30 seconds. Uh, uh, yeah, I freaked out on him. I'm a germaphobe, and I never want to get in my car again because it smells like eggs. So yeah. I hate that. <laughs> Throw the car away at that point. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just thinking that he needs to, I don't know, pay. At the very least, what are you thinking for the prank call? Um, okay, well, I made him not only take my car in, okay, to get clean, mm -hmm. but also he has to pick it up. So I'm thinking that Nacho could be, pretend, you know, be the car shop guy, mm -hmm. call him and say that something is completely, like, destroyed on the inside. It is never going to be drivable again because of how bad the smell is. <laughs> <Yeah>. Your <laughs> car is totaled from the inside? <laughs> Yeah, like try to make him think that. Hey, what are you having, asparagus salad? Man. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, man. <laughs> you won't. You won't do it. Uh, let's have some fun. Here we go. Hello? Hi, good morning. This is Nasha Chavez. That's Nasha with two O's at the car dealership. Do you have, like, one moment, sir? Uh, yeah, of course. Is the car ready, or? Uh, well, let me ask you. Do you want the good news first or the bad news first? Uh, tell me the bad news, I guess. Okay. Okay. So the car, um, <clears throat> it's totaled from the inside. It's just, it's, it's undescribable. It's just done. <laughs> what are you talking about? How is it totaled? Well, you don't even let me get to the good news. So relax, shut up, and then I'll get to no, that. No, no, and then no, no, no. Don't tell me to shut up. What the f is going on? Language, <laughs> language. Do you want the good news or not? Tell me the good news. Okay. Well, the good news is you get to throw this piece of trash car out. My goodness, like this, you're you're doing yourself a favor. You did the right thing going to the bathroom in this thing. The car was basically a porta potty just looking at it. So, how, how is it totaled from the inside? Okay, I don't even know how that's a thing. How did you? How did someone total it from the inside? Oh, it's it's a hundred percent a thing. You left a scent so bad. I initially thought like you literally like ran over a skunk twice, and then used it as an air freshener. I mean, how much asparagus did you eat? My God, my it can't be possible. Don't you guys have like stain removers or stuff to fix the interior yeah. of the car runs perfectly uh, fine. Well, no, no, sir. Whoever sits in this car will suffocate. Seriously. <laughs> the stain is primarily, it just left a mark. There's nothing we can do. It's just there. It's like orangey at this point. It's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's I'm so, not acceptable. I'm sorry. What? No. Okay, there's no such thing as a car being totaled from the inside. Okay, well, Mr. Uh, Perfect, then you can come over and fix it then because we spent 13 hours, 13 hours scrubbing this thing, and it's not drivable. It's, it's just not. Well, one of our guys, he literally, he lost his left nostril. I'm, I'm, not even, I'm not even joking. I'm thinking of taking legal action, calling Rafi. You're joking, legal action. So, listen, sir, there's a new model of this car that I think your sister would actually love. We have it in white, black. I wouldn't prefer yellow, given the most recent events, but it does give it a very demure, very <laughs> mindful vibes, if you will. So, so listen, we're going to fix the inside of that car before I get there. That car is leaving with me. Okay, says the little toddler who couldn't hold it. Okay, you're acting real like the terrible two-esque right now, okay? So let's just take it down, okay? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Well, obviously someone who has their diaper on too tight, okay? You need to just shut up and relax. <laughs> What? Well, well, hold on. What did you just say to me? I said, you should have been wearing your Pampers. <laughs> now this car is totaled. You can sell it to me. I can fix it up, okay? You just said it's not fixable. I did say that, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> the more I, that I talk to you, the more I feel like I'm talking to a baby. Honestly. You know what? Why? Google Gaga. Why? Yourself, why? Why? Yourself. I'm coming to okay, that's rude. Car right now, and I'm going to take it somewhere else. Uh, you, you, you sure? You sure you don't want to say you're sorry to your sister live on the radio? Because that's what's happening right now. What do you mean on the radio? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> My guy.
You're live on the radio right now. Our show's called The Morning Mess. Your sister put us up to this prank call. You're being pranked right now. Oh, my God. No. You're joking. Miranda, you there? Yes. Oh, my God. Not the diaper jokes. I was literally crying. <laughs> From the mind of a two-foot-tall talk.